Hello, everybody. Welcome today. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, today, I'm going to be just explaining the EB3 process in general. For those of you who are new to the group, new to the Instagram, Facebook, or new to EB3 in general and are looking to get more information about what we do at BDV, the EB3 process, the EB3 unskilled process, um, and the steps and what we do at BDV for all of our applicants. So go ahead and get started as people come in um, and then obviously this will be a video that you guys can watch back um, again so let's go ahead and get started all right so today obviously we're going to talk about what is BDV um, the overview of the program all the steps of the process um, and then what BDV does for all of our applicants um, we have now over a hundred countries represented by our BDV clients we have 50 people in the office and out of office working on every team at BDV helping our applicants. We have over a thousand green card approvals on our record already. All right, so this is kind of a general steps of the process. Obviously, we'll go into more detail in the next slides, but first step is selecting a sponsor. Every month we have new sponsors available, just depending on what someone is, um, when someone is ready to start the process, what we have available, but each applicant picks from what we have available, sign the contract and make the first payment. The first step of the EB3 process is the labor certification done with the Department of Labor. Then goes to the USCIS where the I-140 gets filed, the I-485 and the I-765. Then when the I-765 is approved, they'll start working for the sponsor. And then the final step is the interview where you will get that green card approved there. So let's go into more detail. So again, the first step of the process is completing our BDB onboarding. It's a couple of videos, a questionnaire, basic documents. This is where we really try to make sure that each applicant is truly eligible for this process before they can become a BDB client. We're really not in this to waste anyone's time or money if they're not truly eligible. So we check eligibility through a questionnaire. Once they've completed the application, they'll get to what we call the job offerings page. This is where we upload new sponsors every month. As an employer completes their process to become a sponsor, we start opening them up to the public to start selecting. So again, each month could be different and it's really dependent on when someone's ready to start the process and what we'll have at that time. Select a sponsor, sign the contract and make that first payment. And we'll talk about payments a little later on. The first step again of the EB3 process is the labor certification, also called the PERM, also called the 9089. This is done with the Department of Labor, and this is where the sponsor is checked to make sure that they were truly eligible to become a sponsor. This step right now is taking about nine to 13 months. It changes often, but that's kind of what we're seeing at this time. Once that gets approved, so there are a couple of decisions that can be given on a labor certification. It's approved, denied, or audited. So denials for BDV are very rare to happen because we do have a team at BDV that pretty much is holding the sponsor's hand in their process to become a sponsor and a team that's checking the sponsor before they even start that process, making sure that they're truly eligible for the process, that they have a labor shortage, that they have the finances to do this process. So, And we have attorneys that check every labor certification before they're filed. So denials on a labor certification are very rare to happen, but audits are more common. Um, audits are done randomly, which means the applicant didn't do anything wrong, the sponsor didn't do anything wrong, the Department of Labor has to randomly select a specific amount of labor certifications to give an audit to. The only thing that happens with an audit is that the sponsor responds to the audit, but it could add on a couple months onto that first step. Once that labor certification gets approved, you'll move on to the USCIS step of the process. This is where you'll start working with the attorney that we appoint you and they're going to file the I-140 for you. The I-140 is a petition for an immigrant worker. This has premium processing already included for all BDB applicants, which means instead of having to wait the several months that it usually takes with regular processing, you have to get a decision back within 15 business days. So it definitely helps with the processing times. Then once the priority date is current, attorneys will file the I-485, which is the green card application or the adjustment of status application. And then the I-765, which is the employment authorization, the EAD application, your work permit application. Application. The DS-260 filed, that is for people doing this process counselor. We do two different processes, both for EB-3, adjustment of status for people in the U.S., 
And we do counselor processing for people outside of the U.S. that don't have a visa that will complete their entire process from outside and only come into the U.S. once that green card has been approved in their embassy. So same basic steps, except all throughout the process will be outside of the U.S. and it's a DS-260 file then. And they don't need a work permit application because they're not in the U.S. Then it's for people are doing adjustment of status, they will get their work permit approved. This is when they'll start working for their sponsor. Timing on there really depends on when an applicant gets to that stage of the process because every year it's different. I've seen people wait three months. I've seen people wait eight months. It changes year by year. So it's kind of difficult to tell someone right now how long they'll wait for that I-765 to get approved until we get a little closer to that stage of the process. At this time, you'll also start working with our team called Client Services. Client Services is going to help with anything our applicants need in terms of relocation and also starting work with the sponsor. So for relocation, they're gonna help with finding housing, maybe roommates, transportation, schools for children, religious institutions, really anything that will help our applicants be more comfortable and make it a smoother transition if they're going to have to move. Same thing for our clients doing counselor processing outside of the US. Once their green cards have been approved in the embassy, that's when client services will help them before they come into the US. So helping get driver's license, social security number, all that stuff, that team is there to help, but also setting up an orientation time with the sponsor to start working. Then the visa interview, that is the last step for both adjustment and counselor processing. Before you go to the real interview, included in our total cost is a prep interview. Our sister company, Argo Visa, is a company comprised or created by ex-USCIS officials who properly know how to properly prepare prepare our applicants for the real interview. So you'll go to that prep interview, then go to the real interview, and that's where you'll get your decision for your green card application. And then obviously final step is getting that green card. So a couple of things on there for this process, USDIS needs really checks two things, that you're eligible for a green card in general, and that you have a true intent to help the employer that sponsors your green card. To show that true intent, you need to work for your sponsor for at least one year. That's what's gonna show USCIS that true intent. Any less than a year could cause a denial on a green card. If you've gotten the green card within that year, it could cause a revoked green card. So super, super important to complete at least a year with your sponsor to show that true intent and fulfill that commitment with the sponsor because that's why this program works. The sponsor's benefiting, but you are also benefiting. Next step, next slide, we're gonna talk about the cost. I We always talk about our refund policy. We don't do refunds and that's because of two reasons. Reason number one is that again, at BDV, I cannot accept anyone that is not truly eligible for this process. I unfortunately have to reject people all the time because we do not wanna waste anyone's time and not their money if they're not gonna be successful through this process. So as long as someone's honest in that questionnaire and continues to maintain eligibility throughout their process, there really shouldn't be any reason for a refund throughout the process because for the EB3 unskilled process, denials are highly, highly unlikely if someone's truly eligible and shows that true intent. So we do our part. Obviously, each applicant needs to do their part to stay eligible and actually go to work with their sponsor. And then the second reason is that in every contract that we sign, we state that if at any point in the process, there's a denial and it's not the applicant's fault. It's not because of something they did to make themselves ineligible for a green card. Then we'll do what's necessary to keep the process going. We'll refile with a new sponsor at no extra cost, which again is unlikely to happen, but that's why we have that there because we know that there are a lot of things that we can continue doing to fight for our applicants' cases to get to that green card as long as the applicant's done their part to stay eligible. And again, working for the sponsor for at least a year is super important. Um, that's again, the second thing that USCIS checks and it's better not to waste all this time and all this money and then not show up to work or work less than a year and then possibly get denied or revoked your green card. Those are the steps of the process. Now we kind of just wanted to give a highlight to one of our applicants. This is 
Cloris. Cloris is from Brazil. She did an adjustment of status with us and she is actually already completed her process. She has already gotten her green card and she has already finished her time with her sponsor. Cloris, she started in 2019. She had a quick turnaround of a three, four months labor certification. This was when it was a lot faster. Got her I-485 filed within three months. Total process was around two years or so. Her process was pretty quick one that we've seen even though she did process during the times of COVID. Quick process and actually Cloris is now on our team. She works at BDV now. Obviously she went through the process. She knows all about it. She empathizes with all of our applicants and is able to help out as much as she can. So she is on our business development team. So she helps finding sponsors, reaching out to sponsors, showing up to these sponsored locations, um, making sure that these are locations we want to send our applicants to. So she works with that team. This is just an, an one example of our applicants. We have several other BDV employees that have completed their process and their time, their commitment with their sponsor and are now working at BDV. We love having ex-clients working here because obviously they know they went through it. They've gone through every step. So they really, really know the process. Obviously run through all the steps of the process. I do want to touch on kind of the teams. I kind of touched on them a little bit throughout the slides about all the teams at BDV that help you. Obviously right now you have me helping me and my team, Alex, Govandro, Tatiana, all of us are on a team that help check eligibility make sure that everyone's questions are answered. You understand the process very well um, before starting a process like this. So you can find any of us. I speak Spanish. Alex speaks Spanish. Gilvandra and Tatiana speak Portuguese. We all speak English. So if you guys want to have direct contact or direct consultations, they're free to do. We're located in the chat through your BDV account. So if you don't have a BDV account yet, that will be your first step. It's a free account, free to check eligibility. You don't have to pay any until you're ready to start your process. And through there, you can book a call with us, um, a team meeting, anything you need so that we can answer all of your questions, especially if you have questions about your own personal case and maybe you don't have the answers through this video. So you can book a call through there. Once your application has been completed, you'll land at that job offerings page where you can stay until you're ready to start your process. You find a sponsor that you're interested in or you're ready to make your first payment. You'll select a sponsor sign the contract and make that first payment. And that's when your process will kind of start depending on which sponsor you select. That job offerings page will allow you to see everything about the sponsors, where they are located, what the job is, the benefits, the salary, everything about the sponsor before you actually select it and before you make your payment. So again, if you guys have any other questions, want to ask about your own personal case, I and all my team are directly in the little blue circle in your BDV account. Once you create it, there's a little chat box where you can ask any questions, schedule an appointment, or even come into the office if you would like. We're located in South Carolina. So if you're close by, you're welcome to visit anytime. We are going to go ahead and end. I hope that this was informational for everybody. I hope that you now understand a little bit better the EB3 process, but also what BDV does for all of our applicants and what each team at BDV is actually doing for all of our applicants. So again, create an account if you don't have one already. That chat box, we're there Monday through Friday, sometimes and weekends as well. So if you have any questions or need to schedule a call, just let us know and we're happy to do that. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, a good weekend, and we'll talk soon.